so many things to love about Jonathan. And I think the most important things to me is that he has integrity, he's honest, he is caring, he's nurturing, and he always thought of me and um, my children as one. And that was really important to me because I have at least the two girls with me all the time. He just welcomed them and loved them. Um, and that just, that was really important to me as I, uh, as I moved on with him to know that he really wanted to be in that role. But he loves us and he cares for it and he doesn't just tell us he shows us he brings me coffee and will give me foot rubs sometimes I mean he's just a genuine good person and um, I do love too that uh, that he does believe in God that that was a number one for me I always tell my girls I'm like when you get older I said the most important thing is that you find someone who loves God first and if they love God first, you will be loved. And so um, I really do feel that, that way with Jonathan. I mean, we have a lot of fun. He takes my sarcastic sense of humor <laughs> very lightly. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I, I can be sarcastic, but it's all in fun. And uh, he's just a great person, a great person who makes me a better person. Bryn knows that I'm a very traditional person and was raised with traditional values. And when we knew it was time to ask permission, which I definitely wanted to do, um, I asked her mom and dad and her grandmother, by the way, to go to dinner. So I definitely wanted to share this story. I didn't know this ahead of time. He had taken my, uh, my grandmother, Naomi, who's in her 90s, and my mom and dad dinner. Uh, that was very important in my heart to do that. It was the right thing to do. I, I knew that her mom and dad would appreciate it. So we went to uh, a nice restaurant and um, I don't think her grandmother really knew, her mom and dad knew probably why we were there, but I don't think her grandmother did. But we had a nice dinner and then her grandmother Naomi was talking about uh, her wedding to her husband, Bren's, Bren's grandfather. And uh, I remember saying, Grandma Naomi, perfect timing. And we just kind of slid into that conversation and said, this is why I brought you here. I'm really glad you came. But I, I wanted to share that, as you know, I, I love Brim with all my heart. I love Lily and Julianne as my girls. And I want to ask your, your permission to, to marry Brim. They her mom and dad were smiling, which was great. I think her grandmother was still a little, what? And uh, so I went, I said, okay, I need an answer. And I went, Steve? And he said, well, yes. And Pat, she was smiling and yes. And then I looked at Grandma Naomi and I said, well, I need an answer from you too. And she goes, well, yes, of course. And so that was great, a nice little moment. But then I remember I looked over at Bren's mom, Pat, and she had this look that was pretty much like, it was a pretty tense, strong look. And I remember I looked over at Pat and I said, is, is everything okay? And, she, and I remember vividly Pat saying, are you sure you know what you're getting into? And I replied, absolutely. I know exactly what I'm doing and, and this is what I want. I, I want to be with Bren for the rest of my life. I love your daughter and I absolutely want to marry Bren. So, and then she said, okay. I made sure that all three of them uh, gave a, a yes. And that really meant a lot to me because um, that hadn't happened before. And I just really knew that he's the right one for me. I teach kindergarten and um, Five and six-year-olds are very honest about uh, what they see, <laughs> and that can be good or bad. But Jonathan was, was always so sweet. He would, um, in the middle of the day, just bring me a coffee. And uh, the ladies up front would always say, oh, just take it back to her. Well, one day when he was bringing the coffee back to me, um, all my students were in the hallway with me. And this one <laughs> sweet little boy comes up to me and he, he asked me, 
is that your dad? <laughs> and Jonathan took it so well, and it was so funny. And uh, actually, all my teacher friends got such a chuckle out of that too. Um, and then another time when he came to school, I have a, this little boy, and um, Jonathan sometimes has like puffy eyes, and this little boy was like, how do you walk with your eyes closed? <laughs> And he was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but that's life with five and six year olds. The reason I want to spend the rest of my life with Bren, um, she's a beautiful person. She has a beautiful heart. Um, she's very easy to love. Um, she, she makes me smile. She makes me very happy. Uh, I love Lily and Julianne. I, I see them as, as my girls. Um, they are my girls. Uh, she's just a wonderful person and someone that I, I truly love and we both had our, our shares of ups and downs but um, to meet such a wonderful person with a great heart and has a wonderful family who I, I dearly love um, uh, and I do have to say a special shout out to her grandma because she has a, a wonderful grandmother and uh, who would always come up to me at different events especially Christmas and say you, you really love Bren, don't you? And she'd, she'd wink at me. She always, she'd always wink. But um, Bren is, is so beautiful. She's intelligent. She's, she's fun to be with. Um, she, I love that we can go out and do things, but I also like that there's a, a great calm about her. I very much am looking forward to spending the rest of my life with Bren.